So then when we got there to the other side, we got a taxi. Now this was our driver. <laughs> His name was Mario. I always ask because it's nice to know people's names. I mean, makes them feel good too that someone cares enough to ask what your name is. His name was Mario, and he had two gold teeth, which made him outstanding. I took a picture of him, but he really wasn't smiling enough. I, I think it's going to be disappointing. I don't think we're going to see those two gold teeth. <laughs> but anyway, we got in his taxi, and we're cramped in there. You know, they, they make these cars or whatever. They must buy this, either the smallest one or else the people have little tiny legs. But you get someone like Jorge in there with his long legs and, and Ralphie. Hi, hi. But anyway, we got in and we drove an hour. And we went to Chiriqua, no, Chiriqua, Grande. And then, that was the town. Then we got out of that taxi, and then we got onto another taxi, which was a boat. It was a marine taxi. <laughs> 20 minutes more. It takes forever. We only went to Panama. You'd think we were going to the end of the world. We were going to uh, Bocas del Toro, which is, uh, in English, is the mouth of the bull, and this was on uh, the Co Colon Island, C-O-L-O-N, on the end of the Colon Island. And we went to Mangrove Roots Inn, and there we met the hostess, beautiful Michelle. Oh, God, she was gorgeous. Of course, she was, because she was, or had been, Miss Panama. And Bongo, Bongo was her Dalmatian dog. And this was a young male puppy, and he was a riot. He couldn't hardly hear, because that's the, the illness that plagues Dalmatians. So 80% of them are deaf. And he had these blue eyes, and there he is, and he wanted to play. And he's running on, they have broad boardwalks also over the water, and Bongo runs on those, and she says, oh, he's very good now. You should have seen him before. When he first came, his feet were going between the cracks all the time. He was falling all the time. <laughs> well, we were falling too, so I can understand how that happened. And her husband is Angel, or Angel, I'm not sure which. He's She's 25, and he's 55. That was a difference in ages. And they had wooden... This was a business venture for them. He, he does work on the computers in town, and she takes care of business out here. And with her, there was her mother and her little sister, and then there was the, the, the uh, Costa Rican cook. You know, they're all there sitting around doing nothing as far as I could see. Well, I, maybe they just sat down at the pier when we left to say goodbye. But anyway, so anyway, they have these nice little wooden cabins on stilts over the water by the mangrove trees. Now they have <coughs> little no seams there by the mangroves. So they, they have some, I thought it was a broiler out there on the, on the boardwalk. And it was something that looked like that, and they were burning some stuff there. And I then I thought, oh, they're burning garbage? What What is that? You know, no, it's something to keep the bugs away. But this is the only time we encountered them, and the only time I've ever felt them was when I got up in the morning and went in to get breakfast. Then I had a few biting me on my arms, but after that there was nothing. So... <clears throat> They had this wonderful water there. It was nice and clear, and the sand was white. And then um, uh, we snorkeled, and we um, we snorkeled around the pier there, and there was all kinds of fishes underneath, like billions, billions, billions of fishes, all going together. You know, they just go and swim back and forth. Every time there's a movement, they all move in unison. 
and then all different kinds of other the little yellow and black stripes and the black and whites and all those kind of little little tropical fishes there it was pretty to see so 